Hey, thanks for coming by. What you're looking at here is uh, my the latest incarnation of my uh, Android application, right? And what this is, uh, this is my ongoing experimentation with the OBD2, right? I'm over here. I don't know. I keep saying right, but <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. So I have what's plugged in. This is my F150, right? Big deal. F-150 with my OBD2 Wi-Fi version plugged in there, and in my hand I got the Bluetooth, right? Which is just, why do I keep doing that? Which is just sitting there, uh, doing nothing, not plugged in. Yes, that's what it is doing. Okay, so I have my my uh, application here that I wrote recently, and it came. I came to the realization that most people actually don't have... Uh, a, a PC, right? You don't have a laptop. Not even a nice one, not a crappy one, just no laptop at all, but like almost everybody has some some sort of Android. And actually having the choice, I prefer Android. Uh, let's not even go there, right? But anyway, most people have a cell phone. And I, I do have the ability to create Apple, but I just don't have anything to test it on. So I'm not even going to bother with that right now. Um, okay, so what, what do we got here? So this is an application. I have uh, I have my Wi-Fi deal plugged in now. I just tried to start my truck and I have killed the battery because <sighs> Well, you can imagine with all this stupid crap I'm doing here, right? I leave I gotta leave the key on to talk to it and Actually what happened is this stupid the smart charger, which is not really that smart. It uh, shut off and uh, It's saying a hundred percent and then like it won't start. Okay. Thanks much appreciated I mean that's pretty awful hi I'm here to be your battery charger but and I'm gonna report a hundred percent but I'm gonna be full you're gonna be full of crap you're a battery charger man all right let me stop so basically what we got here is you you come in you know to configure the Wi-Fi first of all what you have to do is you have to configure it to be on your network right your your see the OBD2 is actually the name that thing right there is its own network so you actually go to your network settings and you, you look for an available network and you hook up and, and network you know that you find here is OBD2 there's no password there's no internet you know so you hook up to it and now that's how you basically get connected to that with your device the Bluetooth you turn your Bluetooth on and you're good to go and you pair it right Bluetooth is pretty straightforward well I don't know if any of this stuff is actually straightforward so, uh, so how do you set that in the software? In the software, I have this thing over here in the settings, and uh, right, I have Wi-Fi right now set. But if you just tap the Wi-Fi, it'll open up a dialog and ask you Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Let me just click Bluetooth, see what happens, right? So it changes to Bluetooth, and then what it'll do is it'll list all the Bluetooth devices that were paired or that it sees, or I'm not sure, something like that. So here's OBD2, which is this guy sitting in my seat, and it's just sort of remembered that. But I'm going to go back to my Wi-Fi, right? Uh, Wi-Fi. Now, make a note of this setting, right? 192.168.0.10, 35,000. So the IP address is, is on the left, the port is on the right, and that is standard for these uh, OBD2 connectors when you're talking to software. Of course, you still have to connect to it, right? Like we did with the network. Fine, good. All right, so let's go over here. Now, basically, at home, what you're looking at is, uh, if I just click read, this is like a one-shot deal. I just click read, right? It should read, right? Did you see that? It kind of went fast. I click read, right, and it brought in the data. So what it did is basically this front page just gets the status of your car. It'll read in your VIN. It will determine how much your DTC count, and it will determine... Um, these are your monitors, your, your inspection monitors that all have to be finished. If you reset your light, these will all become incomplete and then you still can't pass even if you don't have your light on. You know about that confusing thing. So on this other page, so this basically just reads this information and, and the monitors here are, right, since DTC's cleared. Oops, since DTC's cleared. Now, um... Let me go back. Oh, jeez. And go into this readiness page that I have. Now, what's the difference between here? You see, it's everything's red because I'm looking at this drive cycle versus the um, 
what we were just looking at, which is just since the DTCs were cleared, every time you go, you restart your engine, or I think when it warms up, I'm not sure what the criteria is, but it will reset all these drive cycle monitors, which is okay. It's fine. It does that normally, right? So what it does is it will pull them for you. So right now, that thing's sitting there quietly, and if I tell this thing to go, right, then what it will do is it will constantly talk to that and constantly get the status here. So if I say, let me see the other monitors, the non-drive cycle, the long-term monitors, they're all, right, they're all fine like we expected. Still, still polling, just constantly going, right? Then I can say, show only the not ready, right? So for long-term monitors, well, there's no data because there's nothing that's not ready, everything's ready. But for the drive cycle, of course, everything's not ready. So here, what you can see is in live, real time, that these will actually disappear as this goes forward. Um, or turn, you know, you'll, you'll see that they have actually passed. So you'll see a combination. Now, I tried to start my car a couple minutes. <laughs> my stupid truck won't start. So I, I'm, I regret that I can't show you because I think one or two of these tests goes right like this. One or two of these tests, component tests, and it, like it happens real quick, right? Like within minutes, and then it turns green. But and it's just sitting here pulling it as if the car was running. So I have the key on, right? The key on has to the key has to be on to t to communicate, and uh, right. So it's like you know, there it is going, and if I hit stop, right, it stops. And I just go, right. So what it does is just reads live. So in case if you're if you're actually working on a car and you're trying to get it past inspection, you can sort of just set the screen on and tell when your freaking things are passed. Then you can, instead of just guessing, you know, sorry, I, I uh, wasn't holding, it's a problem when I'm holding this. Um, th what I was saying is you can just run this while you're, um, you know, trying to uh, uh, get your monitors to uh, complete, and this will just indicate when they're complete, live, right, and stop that. And then I have another page for, this is a really simple page, right? I figured I got to give you guys a way to clear your codes. So if you hit clear, right, then it comes up with a little message, right? Are you sure you want to do this? I don't want to clear my codes, right? So maybe sometime when I'm feeling frisky or something. Actually, I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to unplug some stuff to create some error codes. Because right now, if you hit read, it will read your codes. But I can't guarantee what the heck we're going to see. It will bring back data. It may just be numbers, but you. This will read your. I'm not asking for any money or anything. This will read your codes for you. But God help us, what the hell we see when we get. To <laughs> so I'd really let, anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna have to experiment with this. Um, but my, tr you know, my I keep my cars. I do all my own mechanic work, by the way. You know, I'm actually a software guy, but I do my own uh, mechanic work. And actually, like, one of the recent things I did was replace this freaking upper ball joint and this, uh, what do you, what do you call this freaking A-arm thing? I don't know. The ball joint in there. I got nice greasable ball joints. I don't know if you can see that. I replaced the spring and the strut back there. I did the lower one, too. That lower one is, ooh, that lower one. Anyway, but, uh, you know. I mean, actually, I kind of, it's weird, man. Maybe I'm just an old, messed up guy now. But I prefer my 2007 truck. If so, you know, I, I wouldn't even, I have no desire to even upgrade or nothing, man. I just want everything just to work well, be lubricated properly, and, you know. All right, anyways. Um, okay, so this is version, what do we got? Version 1.001. Of my software, it's this is in the form of an APK file I made available up on the website. I got to get a Google Google, develop, Google developers license and get on the Play Store and follow all the rules and everything. Right now, I'm just some kind of clown. Whatever. What am I doing? Oh yeah, look, one other thing. Let's try the Bluetooth. Right? I didn't try that. So this thing stopped. Let's just do that. I forgot about that. Okay, you guys are with me right now. I haven't tried the Bluetooth in a while. And sometimes, these don't exactly act the same. They actually have slightly, they, they're quirky. So, 
it's good to cross reference them. I have a USB one I haven't tried in a while. Well, that won't work with this. Alright, so now let's see if my settings work. And I'm going to go to my Bluetooth. And that's the right setting, so I'm just going to stay with that. Let's go home and see if we can just do that read operation. All right, let's do that. So it's a little, I think the network one is a little faster. Let me try that again. Nice. And look at the readiness monitors. Oh, just go. See how it'll clear it before it gets more. Okay, nice. Alright, let's see if uh, our drive cycle should be all red. And it is. This is making no well, show you the right ones. Alright, man. So my so both Bluetooth it doesn't matter which one you have, Bluetooth or the freaking uh what was the other one? The network or the Bluetooth. So this seems oh man, I have to tell you, I admit to it, I know there's problems with that PC application on the front page, man. Some some people it doesn't work very well. Oh, that's gotta be my next order of business. Oh, it's, that's going to make me look like, uh, if I don't already look like a major idiot. Anyway, oh, this thing's over here just communicating away, right? See, I have my Bluetooth. See, now, now, right, this is the one that was plugged in there. This is the Wi-Fi one. And then, uh, there's the Bluetooth one over there. And if I hit stop, it'll stop it. <laughs> I don't know, man. All this sophistication, and I really just like the idea that you you click something... You know, you just press a button and then the lights start going. That, I, you know, that like really appeals to the caveman in me, right? I don't know what this, this, this whole operation really appeals to the caveman side. All right. I'm sorry about the camera moving around. Um, but, uh, I mean, if you have a hundred dollar Android, man, this application should work for you. I know it doesn't do much, but it can clear your code. It should be able to read your codes, too. I'd be curious what kind of problems you have. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you, period, man. You know? Especially, like, people who join my channel and stuff. You know, a nice little yard and everything. I'm trying to keep it nice. It's a trailer that I don't know what to do with. I don't have a registration for it. I have to destroy it. All right, but you guys don't care, do you? No, I don't think so. Somebody probably does, but that's all right. All right, I better stop. All right, thank you. Take it easy.